Hello, everybody, and welcome to Vinyl Rampage. I'm your host, Jonathan. So Nick is not with us today because I wanted to do a toy spotlight piece. So Nick and I are not going to be doing this very often, but I felt the need to do this specific figure. This is the G, uh, 26th G-Fest 2019 um, <clears throat> exclusive Death Jaguar from the Toy Matrix booth. Um, and luckily, I was able to work with them again this year, and I was able to acquire this figure. Now, I wanted to cover this figure in particular because it was it was an exclusive, and it is a really, really cool piece. But first, let me run down about who Rocom is and what Rocom does. So Rocom it was an illustrator and designer based in Orange County, California. A former hip-hop artist and producer, Rocom creates striking visuals that conjure his world of comic books, monsters, and movies. His work ranges from Artist Edition Tops cards for Star Wars to Spider-Man branded electric motorcycles. He currently works as an art director for one of the world's largest ride-on toy companies and still lives locally in the Orange County, California area. Now, Rocom is an artist and designer, and last year, I believe, he, cre he created a Kickstarter campaign to build and create his own Sofubi figure named Death Jaguar. Now, there's a story behind this, and I will add a link in the description to the whole Kickstarter campaign and what it was all about, but I want to give a really quick rundown about this figure. So what's special about Death Jaguar, and if, you are, if you're already familiar with him, then you, you know, you'll know you already know about this, but what does special about Death Jaguar is he's got a switching head. He has two different head modes, which is weird to say, um, but the sculpt is brand new. It's an entirely original sculpt. It's based, the design itself is based off a character in the Godzilla universe named Jet Jaguar. Um, so it's kind of a play on word. Anyways, let me do a rundown of this figure really quick. This is the header card. This was the Toy Matrix header card. So there's a better design of what Death Jaguar's face looks like. Since this is a clear version. Back. Um, I mean, it's basic packaging. So that's basic, That's the basic header card. Um, and then the figure itself. So this particular toy is done in a yellow and red color scheme with yellow eyes and a clear body with silver legs. Um, and that's because this is an exclusive. So this is limited to 40 pieces. This came with a print, which I will add a photo to you <coughs> somewhere. So he has, like I said, a 360 articulation in the head. He has a rotation at both arms. He has a waist articulation, which is a 360. And he has rotating wrists. Now the cool part about the rotating wrists is that uh, every Death Jaguar figure comes with two weapons. A blaster and an axe. Oops. So let me quickly, very quickly try to remove one of these. And snap in one of these without breaking the axe because these are kind of quite fragile. Um, so there you go. You know, basic articulation, it's the same as the wrist. Um, it's a peg. I would highly recommend using a hair dryer, but to each their own. Um, yeah. Uh, don't know what else to say about this toy uh, other than I believe Toy Matrix still has a couple left. I don't know if they will be doing shows and selling this here uh, or at them, <clears throat> uh, but you can, you're always more than welcome to um, like, hit, share, and subscribe. Um, I will post a link to their website in the description. However, they do not really sell a lot of toys through their website, so you have to go to their shows to buy from them. That's it. And, so with that in mind, I am Jonathan, your host of Vinyl Rampage, and I shall see, and hopefully you shall see a video from us again soon. Bye.